Kid Buu was one of the most terrifying and powerful villains we had in Dragon Ball Z. He was stronger than Vegeta, Frieza, and Cell. He was the only one that succeeded in destroying Earth. All Buu transformations were exciting to watch evolve into a beast that's more tyrannical than his previous form. Kid Buu had grew a large fan base in the Dragon Ball Z community and was extremely loved. So instead of destroying him completely, the writers just converted Bad Buu into Oob, then threw Oob in the trash like it never existed. But we constantly keep seeing Frieza being resurrected and revived countless times. Frieza had been in Dragon Ball Z Cooler's Revenge, Dragon Ball Super Resurrection F, and Dragon Ball Super Brawly. Also, Frieza is returning for another series as Black Frieza. So why not bring back the craziest impulsive villain you ever had seen in this series? Maybe you can have Frieza wish him back with the Dragon Balls because maybe Frieza needs help to destroy the angels. That would be a really cool thing. I understand that Frieza to Goku is the equivalent to Batman and Joker. But sometimes people get tired of the monotony of Dragon Ball same ideas. I don't think the idea of Kid Buu returning to become a god of destruction or Ultra Buu far-fetched when you look at the direction Dragon Ball Super is going. We recently just seen Cell in a new movie that just released called Dragon Ball Hero. So it raises the questions to all the Dragon Ball Z fans, are they going to go down the line? So what if Kid Buu returns to Dragon Ball Super? If he does return at some point, this would be extremely wild just to think that we're going to see Ultra Kid Buu vs Ultra Instinct or God of Destruction Buu vs Ultra Instinct. That fight would be one of the most entertaining fights that we've seen in Dragon Ball Z and Super. I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh, what about God of Destruction Kid Buu vs Jiren? Oh my goodness, bro. Bro, how many people will really faint just to watch those two go head to head um, on Planet Namek revived? No, I'm just kidding. Planet Namek revived? Come on, man. <laughs> but if it does happen, that would definitely have to happen in some theoretical time and space location where the fighters won't have to hold back. So what would Kid Buu's new form be called? Could he become a god of destruction because he's so ruthless? And can he have an angel to watch over him and control him when he goes too far? Could it be another ultra level like Goku's Ultra Instinct or Vegeta's Ultra Ego? Or he might awaken something new called the Supreme Kid Buu that started from his ancestors through his bloodline or something like that. I'm not sure, but I know it would be epic. So the reason why I like this idea so much is because Kid Buu represents chaos as Goku represents order. These are two principles that govern our world as well. These two principles go hand in hand with each other just like good and evil, up and down, and yin and yang. So let me go a little deeper on what I mean by understanding how the Chinese perceive yin and yang philosophy. The philosophical principle of yin and yang evolved into the idea that all things in the universe exist inseparable and contradictory opposites, or pairs of equal opposites that attract and complement each other less like opposing force and more like complementary forces. So Goku and Kid Buu are inseparable forces that complement each other perfectly. So that's the reason why I developed this theory of Kid Buu returning to the Dragon Ball Super franchise to become a god of destruction.